What's up, everybody? This is Albert, episode 14, I believe, of my football soccer video blog. Sitting here watching the Colombia Grecia Greece uh, game. 26 minutes into the game, Colombia is winning 1 0. So, I want to talk about, of course, the game yesterday between Mexico and Cameroon. Uh, first off, uh, it was raining, so I was a little bit nervous about that. Came down hard pretty much the whole game, and uh, the field held up. The field was dra the drainage was perfect. I didn't see any issues with the field at all. Uh, the team came out really strong. Uh, no surprise, but I was really impressed by Hector Herrera. I think he was awesome during the game. He came back. He he had excellent touch on the ball, excellent dribbling. There was one instance where he was just going through all kinds of players. Nothing resulted, but he uh, kept control of the ball. Giovanni came up huge, had two goals that were called off uh, incorrectly. There was an offside that was wrong, and there was a corner kick that they called offsides, which um, I was like, that's totally wrong, but I guess they, they thought there was a deflection. I'm going to have to look at the replay on that, but I'm pretty sure there's no deflection. There's just two horrible calls by the refs. Um, I think they're from Colombia. Um, but Mexico, and this is something that was pointed out uh, on Twitter that I heard, and it's, it's true, Mexico didn't usually mentally... Mexico has been very weak and has had problems, but in this case, after being stripped of two goals, they kept their heads in the game, they kept um, attacking, they kept doing their best, and they came back and were able to get the goal by Giovanni. And there was other opportunities that they missed. Uh, um, Oribe got that goal off a great play. A great shot by Giovanni that didn't go in was deflected by the keeper, and of course, of course, Oribe was right there to put it to put it in for the goal. So just great passing, great teamwork, uh, defense. There were some shaky instances. I think Hector Moreno got a little bit of a of a, a little bit hurt towards the towards the middle of the game. I've seen him limping. There's some mistakes that he might have made a little bit. Massa as well and. Uh, and Rafa looked slow at some part point of the game as well. Um, there's one entry pass that Massa gave that was really impressive to Oribe. I think Chicharito would have had the, the strength to run harder and, and actually get that um, get that ball. But that was an excellent pass by Massa. It was surprising to see. That's more of a Rafa type of pass. But a um, good entry pass by Massa. Uh, Chicharito did come in in the second half and actually played very well. There's one instance where he got the ball on the right side towards the towards the end line. The the man was guarding him. He faked the cross, waited a little longer, and then crossed it right in between his legs and almost um, almost ended up with a goal for uh, 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 Fabian. Fabian was running in, um, and it was him and another defender that were um, almost... Challenging, well, challenging each other, and the defender almost, uh, well, barely got it, uh, got it cleared, and avoided the goal from Fabian. That was an excellent pass by Chicharito. He played very well coming in. Giovanni, I think, was the best guy on the whole mat, on the whole game. Uh, Memo Choa came came up huge with one uh, save from a header. Uh, it wasn't actually a good header. It wasn't too strong. And I don't think it was that spectacular of a save, but it was a good diving save by um, by Ochoa that just shows his quality and and the type of goalkeeper he is. So for Mexico, they got the two, they got the three points. Probably should have been 3-0 instead of 1-0. Uh, Brazil, of course, the day before, uh, also with some controversy from the refs, was able to beat Croatia. So we're gonna have to see. I think. I think Mexico's got a good chance. They got to keep positive and uh, keep strong against this Brazil team, and hopefully we can continue to do what we've, what uh, Mexico has done previously, and really cause Brazil some problems, and hopefully get a win, if not a tie. So yesterday, a big surprise also was uh, Spain. Spain got demolished by. Uh, 
by Holland. 5-1. to one. There was a penalty where Spain scored the first goal, and that was a non-call. There was no penalty at all. But after that, Holland just took over. There was an awesome goal, the best goal of the tournament by, uh, by Van Persie, who just scored an awesome header. He looked like a flying uh, dolphin into the air as he headed that ball over the goalie, over Casillas. Poor Casillas had a horrible, horrible game, received the back pass, touched it too hard, got stolen, and then, and then scored on. Another instance where he was, he came out, the ball was received by Arjun Robin. Casillas came out, Arjun Robin just dribbled around him, scored the goal. Reminded me of Giovanni on Howard during that one goal cup where Giovanni scored that awesome goal. This was more open goal um, as Robin just dribbled around to open space. No one on net, except, uh, except the defender, couldn't use his hands. And, uh, and that's sad, sad news for Spain, sad news for Casillas, who's... Uh, I don't think he's played too much for Real Madrid, but um, he showed some very bad poise there. And uh, we'll see how Spain does in the rest of their, their group. Chile won. Uh, Chile beat uh, Australia. So we're going to see, that's the, that's the group that's going to meet uh, Group A, Brazil and Mexico, or Croatia, whoever makes it. So that's something to keep an eye on. Spain going down. Um, Chile is going to be one of the top ones, as well as uh, Holland, probably. But we'll have to see how Spain reacts. Uh, so, stay tuned. World Cup continues. Four games today. I'll be watching them. Taking a little bit of a break between every now and then. Uh, and also, uh, can't wait for the next one, Mexico, Brazil, later on in the week. So, if you have any comments, go ahead and put them on the YouTube channel, on the video. Contact me on Twitter, Beto underscore ATX. Check you guys out later.